Hi, I'm Mark Radford of Audio Rehab. And I'm here at the Sub Bass Academy of Electronic Music. I just recently completed my first online tutorial where you can basically see me create a track from beginning to end. I hope you find it useful. I first got into DJing um, when I was a kid. Uh, I always loved music. Um, I used to collect like little seven inch vinyls with my pocket money when I was a kid. Sit my mum and dad down in the front room, create a, a, a DJ booth out of all my toy boxes and play music to them. And I always liked recording the top 40 off the radio. I had two tape decks that I'd put together and dub bits out of tracks that I didn't like. So I'd kind of create my own early mixtapes. I was like a kid, I was like five, six, seven years old doing that. Um, and then it just sort of progressed through life. Always loved the music. Um, started raving in Acid House days, 88, 89. Um, and was luckily, had a group of older friends that were music producers and so kind of just fell into it that way, hanging around with them in the studios and just picked it up from there. I would describe my sound as um, very bass heavy, um, but with melodical bass lines, a nice musical element, even though it's dark and underground and raw and really sort of designed to let people lose their inhibitions and forget about everything else apart from that moment on the dance floor, but it's still got to retain the musicality. No matter how twisted the noise is or how dark it is, I still like to have that soulful musical element within it. My favorite artists, I've got a wide range of artists. I wouldn't just say it's house music, I mean, I, I love people like Dillinger from Drum and Bass, um, pop artists like Duran Duran, people like that from the 80s, Pet Shop Boys, that electronic, music really inspired me to today and artists that I that I really respect today are people like German Briganti, Cyrus Hood, Flash Mob, those sort of guys because they create the sound still that I like and again it's very sort of 80s driven synth based but with nice big political bass lines. So my club night I started it at our Ministry of Sound Residency, we're in our fifth year now. Um, we actually launched the party at a, a club called The House and Terrace, which used to be called, no, used to be called The House and Terrace, which is now Studio 338. That was what, eight years ago now we started that. Um, at the time I was getting booked to play all around London by a lot of parties, and that's when I got onto Rinse FM. Um, big shout out to G and Tipper at Rinse, thanks for the support guys. and. I was being sent all this music by these young producers because I was kind of creating and developing a sound that no one else was really playing. Didn't really know where it was going or what, what it would lead to. I was just dragging tracks from all different genres of house and creating this sound. And then producers actually started making that sound. We didn't know what to call it. It was, it was just a completely different sound. I had dubstep producers, drum and bass producers that they're all listening to my rinse show and saying, we love what you're doing. That no, like, no labels are putting it out. So I formed the label Audio Rehab just solely because it was an outlet for that sort of music. So the online course that I've just done for Subbase is um, basically an insight into how I would create a track, the sounds that I look for, the way I structure music, um, how I arrange stuff. Um, I love arranging music, that's what I've always liked. When I, even when I was a kid, I'd go in the studio, wouldn't have a clue what was going on, but I'd go, that bit needs to go there, that bit needs to go there. I think because I was a DJ from so young, I always look at it from a DJ's perspective, which dance music is DJ-led. So in a club, it needs to be able to be played by the DJ. So that's how I always structure music, and that's what I like doing. So hopefully that comes across in the course and it helps people. The key elements that I look for in a track are, like I said before, big energetic bass lines, crisp, clean drums, and a hook. It, it, whether it's the bass line, it's the hook, or it's a vocal hook, it has to have something to hook you into the track and keep it moving. Um, so yeah, they're basically the elements that I look for. Big fat bass lines. My go-to plug-in um, for bass lines, especially sub boom bass, but the new one that I'm falling in love with now on Logic X is Alchemy. I really like it, it's got some amazing sounds in it and I'm just starting to get my head into it. 
anything by Rob Pappen as well. The guy's a G. Send me some plugins, Rob! <laughs> <laughs>